This allows you to put a turning force on the center cylinder portion of the uh, tubular lock. But again, what keeps this from turning are the pins down inside because they need to be pressed to the correct depth. Now to press each one to the right depth, you can get your pick here and use any one of your picks, such as your feeler pick, and you can just press down on the pins with the uh, pick like this. And as you notice, when I press this pin in, it's very soft and mushy, and there's no tension on this pin. However, if I go to the second pin, you can feel it's very tight, and there's pressure on that. So basically, if I push down on this pin with pressure on it, the lock will shift a little bit, and the pressure, the lock will turn a little bit, and the pressure will be transferred to another pin. So if you go and feel the second, third pin here, it's mushy, fourth pin is mushy, fifth pin, there's no tension on that, but if we get to the fifth pin and you press down on it, you can feel there's tension. If you apply more pressure, the pin will go down and the lock will shift and rotate a little bit more, and the pressure, the tension will be trans, pressure will be transferred to a, another pin. So we push the seventh pin, no pressure on that one. And we can go back to the first pin and you'll notice suddenly that there's a lot of tension on the first pin now, whereas that before there wasn't. So we just go in here with the pick and push down on the first. The cylinder rotates a little bit more and you can see the first, second, and the third one will push in. We'll try, oh, and there's tension on the third one. So we got the third one down, fourth one, had a little tension on there. And we go to the fifth pin, which is right here apply pressure and that was it and this lock is able to turn it and rotate and open and this is how you pick a tubular lock it's similar that you have to find the pins which have the pr which have um, the pressure applied to them push them in one at a time until um, all the pins are down in a particular sequence so the sequence isn't known which pins you need to push down but if you feel each one of the pins you are able to um, find which ones have tension or pressure on the pins, push those pins down, and once you get all the pins down, the lock will turn and rotate and open.